Hi, this is Raviteja from Ravi Sandra and Fitness Club, and with me is Nitesh. Today we are going to introduce you an interesting martial art form called Sanda. It is a co full contact combat sport which was developed by Chinese military for the military purposes. It is also called Sand Show. And this Sand Show is one of the discipline on Wushu sport. Wushu in Chinese means martial arts. And this Wushu sport has given us four Arjuna awardees and one Dronacharya awardee recently. And this sand show, as the name indicates, sand means three, show means art, which means art of three techniques. Here we will be using hand techniques, leg techniques, and grappling and takedown techniques, which means you can apply punches, you can apply kicks, you can also grab the opponent and take him down. So if you are interested in MMA, probably this sport, you will be liking this sport a lot. So first. Six, seven. change. as much close as possible if you need any support you can hold the pillar or wall
nochmal. Change. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Now let's learn footwork. Footwork in any martial art form helps to avoid the attack and also to attack with full energy while putting the whole body weight behind the punch or kick. It also helps you to stabilize yourself during the ring. It also helps you in the free movement and also it helps you to utilize the area effectively. So let's see how we stand first in this sport. Never
take the distance this way pivot pivot your right feet if you are a right hander pivot your right feet at the heel turn it to the 90 degrees then pivot your right feet at toes turn it to the 90 degrees repeat the same this one bend your knees little bit bend your upper body slightly turn it to the right this is how you stand this way the bending will help you in moving easily and also that this turning will help you to expose your body as much as possible so instead of keeping like this if you keep like this the front part will be exposed as little as possible Four. Remember, when you are in the stance, you should be always on your toe. While you are moving forward, your weight should be on the front part. When you are if you keep your knees rigid, you will not be able to move freely. Also remember, you shouldn't keep your back feet like this. It should be in the 45 degrees angle. If you keep like this, it will restrict you from moving easily. So, keep it in 45 degrees angle. Now, let's learn how to move forward. First, shift your first leg forward, one, and second leg. Left leg, right leg. Left leg, right leg. Now, backwards. Right leg left leg right leg left leg okay we shall do this for 10 times just follow Nitesh while he was doing Nitesh on the side ready position one two three four if you see the movement, see, hold the leg around toes. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more time. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back. Turn back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Next. One more time. Go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you see this, the whole body weight, maximum of the body weight is on the front foot and the back foot is completely on the toe. Now, here, from here we will be moving backward. Let's see how it goes. One, two, three. See, the entire body weight, most of the body weight is on the back foot. 
and the front foot there is a minimum weight and it is on the toe it helps you to move back easily so if there is any incoming attack you can move back easily four five six so this is how you need to move seven eight nine ten again one two three four five six seven eight nine back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven relax shake your legs now leg change change your legs Take your right feet forward left feet backward turn your body little bit tilt it to a little left now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten turn back right leg forward one two three four five six seven eight nine ten turn back one more round one two three four five six seven eight nine back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and back position one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now move back without turning back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one more time forward one two three four five six seven eight nine back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten if you see this both the legs are not in same line so even if there is an attack from the sideward he can stabilize himself so even if there is an attack from forward he can stabilize himself if there is an attack from the right he can stabilize left he can stabilize so this is the reason why you should avoid keeping both the heels in the same line okay next let's learn how to turn uh, move your right to the further right and turn your left feet pivoting it at the toes one more time one more time one more time back to the position so we shall do this so we shall do this for five rounds we shall do this for five rounds ready go position one two three four again one two three four third round one two three four fourth round one two three four fifth round one two three four leg change now take the left leg to the further left and turn in 90 degrees pivoting your at pivoting your right foot at the toes one two three four second round one two three four one more time one two three four one more time one 
two, three, four, fifth round, one, two, three, four, relax, take a deep breath, shake your legs, Hope your legs were a little bit tired if you are not habituated to this. So let's stretch them a little bit. Other leg. Change. Okay, let's do some little more cooling down to bring your body temperature to the normal. So you have learned how to move in the ring you have learned some footwork today in next episode you will be learning how to move your upper body to be able to punch properly so still then stay tuned take care stay safe stay healthy bye